Today we're going to do something a little different. I'm going to do a cartoon, a couple of panels here, <clears throat> but I'm using a reference of another artist. Now there's a cartoonist out there called Hillary B. Price. Hillary Price <clears throat> does a cartoon strip called Rhymes with Orange. I love her work. It's amazing. Okay, so I had the opportunity to have her come visit one of my cartoon classes one time. So let's take a look at what we're doing here. First of all, I just grabbed up one of her cartoons off the internet. This is how she draws. I love her drawings. Her drawings are so cool. So what I'm gonna do, or I'm going to attempt to do, is kind of incorporate her style into my drawing. And I'm gonna tell the story. I've sketched it in here in pencil the day Hillary Price came to visit my cartoon class, and I was thrilled. So I've sketched it in here. So now we're gonna ink this in so that we can see it a little bit better. Now I've got the words here. And I'm just gonna go over them. And I'm not gonna take a ton of time here to film every single thing, but I wanna get give you an idea of what this is going to look like. So as you can see, I have it in pencil and I'm inking this in. I'm just going over it and then I'll erase it. But I want to get to the art, so I'm going to leave that for now. So I've done a picture of myself. Cartoon version, of course. And I'm going to draw that in here. My glasses are a little funny. So I'm doing myself in my own style, my own cartoon style. I like to give myself a little more hair than I actually have. Because my forehead's getting bigger and bigger. Okay, then I have the little expression on my face. I've got, this is just kind of a, kind of a close-up at my hair in the back. Now some of this is going to be erased of course and again I'll show this to you once I'm closer. Now I'm going to put her in as a character but I'm going to do her, I'm going to copy her style. Now I don't know if, if this is how she she draws characters like this. I don't know if this she's referring to this as a self-portrait but I'm going to use it as that. So I'll put her in here. And this is her standing. Kind of looking over here. So this is what we have so far. Okay. So I'm going to finish this in. The day Hillary Price came to visit my class, my cartoon class. And this me. And this is her. Then I have a bunch of kids here. See, I've drawn them in in pencil. I'm going to ink that in. And they're all question marks. There's question marks because they're clueless. They've never heard of her, or at least a lot of them hadn't. Um, and she does. She is local. She lives nearby. So I'm going to ink these in, and we'll take a look while I ink in some of these guys here. Again, I've drawn them in my style. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this into a multi-panel cartoon. It already is, it has two panels, but there's gonna be more to it. So I'm gonna have, the story is going to be that these kids don't know who she is. And two stories, she came and she said, now I'm in awe of this woman, by the way. She came to my class and she said, oh, I wish I could draw like you. And I went, oh my God, please don't say that because I love your drawings. So now I put all of them behind this table. So notice this, I've got them kind of crowded in. Now, usually when I'm doing a cartoon, I don't draw this small. I usually draw bigger. But for the sake of this, I'm going to do it kind of to scale. So here's this guy. He's kind of he's kind of got this sleepy look on his face or his eyes are closed. This girl, wide-eyed, 
but no idea what's going on. They don't know who Hillary B. Price is. And again, I am starstruck that she's even there, that she even came to my class to be introduced. And she actually did a little drawing on the board for them, which is very cool. And if you get a chance to check her out, I mean, her, her cartoons are very funny. So there, and then I continue the table along like this, like this, a little bit of foreground in here. And then I put some pieces of paper here. I didn't sketch these in, I'm just doing these freehand right now. So put some paper here, some pencils, drawing implements, kind of sketch those in. And then we have our question mark. Now I could put a word balloon around here. It's going to all of them, um, not necessary. It can just be floating like that. Ink in my panels. Again, this doesn't have to be perfect because we can be gonna erase all of our pencil lines later. And if I absolutely had to touch this up after I inked it in, I could use some white out. So now, let me finish this too. Finish inking in the words so I can show you, first of all, how cool it looks once it's inked in. And then, ah, oh, see, I made a mistake. I'm gonna have to put some white out on that. That's what happens when I talk and try to draw at the same time. So see, I on cartoon, I this O, oh, that's supposed to be a T. So I'm gonna to have to fix that and use a little white out. But before I do that, I'm going to use my neater eraser. Oh, I forgot to put her a little smile in. There's her little smile. And then I just go over this. Be careful not to wrinkle your paper like I did. And then we have something like this. Then, now I can put my white out on there. Now remember, if you use white out and then you're gonna put it on mom or dad's copier, make sure that it is dry because otherwise it'll leave a big mess on the copier. All right, so we're gonna fix that. And then I'm gonna do more on that cartoon later. Um, in the meantime, while we wait for this to dry, we can always go on to something else. Have fun. See you later.